Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a lip swatch video of the Lux lipsticks from ColourPop. I have nine of their original creamy formula and I have six of their new matte ones. These retail for $7 each on their website and they are fully pigmented and a lot of them stain significantly. So I already kind of regret this because I think my lips are going to be in misery very soon. If it stains too much, then I'm probably going to have to use a little bit of foundation or something on my lips just so that the color isn't changing the others. Does that... So, I've got 15 lipsticks to get through. These videos are usually pretty quick, but they take an awful lot of work. So, let's do this. I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. I know I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. But let me just hold your hand once more. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna take you out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Show you what I'm all about. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make up for what we lost. Tonight is the night that we're gonna fall in love. I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head There's a new part of me, a part I want you to see You haven't seen the best of me, I know You can try to fool yourself, like you love somebody else But you and him will never feel the way we go ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna take you out ooh, 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 ooh. Show you what I'm all about ooh, ooh, ooh. Make up for what we know I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin
So those are all 15 of the Luxe lipsticks that I own. What were your favorites? If you have ones that I didn't show, which ones do you really enjoy? Of the ones that I have, I've got four here that are kind of favorites. Stone Fox, I'm actually really surprised at how much I like this for being such a pale, peachy kind of pink. Those don't usually look good on me. This one I actually really enjoy. There's just something with the undertone. They've just nailed it for me. Obviously not for me personally, but it just happened to work out very well in my favor. I also love Cheetah, the bright lilac color. It's different, but it's still wearable. I think because it's such a nice soft color, it's just, it's really fun. And I really like that one. Liquid Courage is that deep red shade and it's effing beautiful. It's just, it's so flattering. It doesn't make your teeth look yellow, and I can really see that this is going to be a fall winter staple for me. And last, but certainly not least, is Trapeze. I really, if I could only keep one of these Luxe lipsticks, this is the one that I would keep. I love this one. It's this bright orange with just a hint of red to help keep it a little bit more grounded, a little bit more wearable, and I love this shade. So just very quickly, I just want to touch on the lipsticks, my experiences with them. I'm equally comfortable in the cream formula and in the matte. The matte is not drying at all. It doesn't get that pilling that sometimes lipsticks can wear. Like matte lipsticks, when they rub against each other as you wear them throughout the day, they can sort of bunch up and get really goopy, especially towards like the center of your lip. That doesn't happen with these. There is a nice staining effect to the darker shades, so as they wear off, there's still a bit of that color left behind, so it's not this stark contrast between, here's my lipstick, here's my lips, where it just does not look pretty at all. It's much more gradual, so I find that it's much more wearable throughout the day with those darker shades in particular. They're just, they're, they're $7. Oh, I, I, you know, these brands that are charging 40 bucks or 50 bucks for a lipstick, no, no thank you, hard pass, $7 and it gets the job done. These shades, and there are so many to choose from, there is something for everybody. And I was a little concerned with the matte ones when I first ordered them and got them in the mail. I thought, mm, these kind of all look the same, but when you actually put them on, they are very different one from the other, so there are... A ton of shades to choose from. There's more that I want to get. Some of the more fun colors. They were just sold out when I ordered. Uh, and I highly recommend these. Seven dollars. It's mind-blowing. The quality of them. And actually, like, the packaging itself. It's so nice. I didn't show it. I didn't show it, but it's this nice, like, rose gold bullet. And this nice, it's this nice rose gold case. It's got little stars etched in it and color pop. All of the shade names have their own little stickers, so I just keep them upside down in my container and I can easily see which one I want. There's a nice weight to them. They're smooth to roll up. They retract all the way. There's little stars etched right into the lipstick itself. They're just, they're, there's a lot of thought put behind the packaging. It looks like a high-end lipstick, but it's $7. I can't get past the price point. I really can't. These are worth more than seven dollars. Colourpop, don't raise your prices, don't. But I would pay more because they're worth it. Um, but I love, I love Colourpop for that. They have the fan base for it where they could just ratchet up their prices and people would probably still pay more, but they don't do it and I fucking love their ethics. I love it. These, if you haven't tried them yet, go and get your hands on them. They're phenomenal. And that is all I have to say about the Luxe lipsticks. You need them. You need them in your life. You really do. There's not a shade that I have that I think is a complete dud. So, yeah. 
All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I will see you in my next video. Until then, just be a decent human being. Bye for now.